everyone, Swain here. Today I'm going to build a little tutorial on just how to set up Joyplay. As my last tutorial was a bit abrupt, so I'll do a proper one this time. With me fully installing it. It won't be included any how to set up any games, but it's just a Joyplay. With a little disclaimer first that Joyplay is still a work in progress. Not all games will work, but most should. Um but uh yeah. Just any errors are mainly done with failure to extract the game properly. Make sure we are using Ra or Z Archiver to do so. And anyway, I'll just might be a couple of others be listed on the screen anyway. Alright, so first step we want to do open up your open up your bloody browser and then we want to search Joyplay. Go to the Joyplay official site. Do not use the, um, yeah, do not use the Play Store version as it is old and does not work. You want to download the Joy Play one. Download. Yeah, Mega should work for most people as there are any small files. Big ones like big files may not download for all people due to limitations Mega puts on. Then we'll do a save. And I'll get back and get the RPG Maker plugin. Download. Important you have the latest version as any little bugs that may cause additional errors will might be fixed. Save and download. Alright, so now that they download, we'll go find them and install them. File download. Ignore half my crap. Where where is joy where where is joy play? There it is. We want to install that one. It may ask you if you want to install stuff from third party places, just allow it. Done. Okay, and then we want to go down and find the other one we downloaded. Uh, that one. These are the two main ones we have. You can install the Renply and the Ruffle plugin. Okay, now that they are installed, we need to find them in our apps. Click on that, that's, that's good, alrighty. Vacation about updates, yes, allow that one. Yes, allow permissions. Allow it to have permission to access your files. 
Oh, but it's look, it still kept my data from before when I had it, okay. And on the first time you do it, it will take you to the quiet place, but you gotta get the RPG Maker XP Framework. Yeah, the RPG site. You want to download runtime packs. And you want the XP Maker pack. Alright, that's downloaded. It will ask you to yeah, download the runtime pack. You download the pack and then next time you load up Joyplay and try and load your game, it will ask you to find it. You hit choose and then you find the file we just downloaded. Which will be called XPRTP104X. Hit that. Play it and we are good to go. Now we want to add. First off we need to add game. You want to go to a game a file where we have extracted the games. Add Vanguard, we want to add the XC. Next, next, it should run. Click configure, yes, select to overwrite. It will also need permission. And it will load up. It does take a while, and look, and we are in Pokemon Vanguard, which is very nice. Okay, a couple other things I need to go through. Here's the game back to Joy Play. All right, and we have settings. We we'll go down to the uh, what one do I want to? We have a setting somewhere that we can turn on that will help it for a bit. RPG things probably there. Use that one. Use that one. You can turn on V Think for a bit. Yeah, add custom fonts if you really want to. Down scale, yep, that one's fine. Is there any other ones I need to turn on? Nope, not there. Not there, because I'm not playing one of them games. Cheats, yeah, I don't have any cheats, so. Asking me, okay. So with uh, your gamepad settings, you can customize them really any way you want to. As long as you have Z, X, Z, X, and C. They're the three buttons you need to play the game. Because you have your A, B, and your start. And then sometimes they may have Q or Shift. Or G as a fast forward button, but yeah. And we also probably need F1 as to access the settings too. Which is always handy to have. And now then, yes, yeah, then we can load up our games and play them away. But yeah, like I said, for extracting, make sure you're using RAW or the archive. That way it will take a while but all your files will be down all your files will probably be there. Enter we So for some games you'll probably have to go to settings and change your text entry to cursor. 
from keyboard. Some keyboards don't work properly. Then we can go into a game. Welcome to a brand new adventure code for making currencies. It's cute to speed up the game. Almost as many found the Pokedex. Finally, yes, I know this game's work in progress. I just want to light up. But yes, anyway, y'all, I hope you all enjoyed this little journey of the tutorial that I did. See you all on your next journeys. Anyway, y'all, bye-bye.